Hello everyone, Ruby here again. Today we're going to look at legendaries, uh, legendary pals, um, to be more specific. Well, we're talking about pals here. And so the legendary pal we're looking at today is one going by the name Frostallion. Um, some of you might have seen videos of it or photos of it. Now, Frostallion is an is a ice type pal, and there are two variants of it. Frostallion and Frostallion near, like some other pals are. And so, we are talking about this guy here, Frostallion. <coughs> now, um, there's a way to get it, which is what this video is about. Um, he's located in the ice region on the in the north, which is all the way up here, here to be specific, right here. Now, he's um, he's a pretty good fight. Um, kind of tough now like I also stated um, he's ice type he, does, um, he has some extra abilities oh in case people don't know um, as your power levels it lends new abilities even more than what area more than the three that it's all that is usually slotted there and um, if it lands anything outside of the three here it saves it and you can always go to each one and swap the skill out with something else. You notice that my first talent here is equipped with the highest damage in um, ice abilities that it, it knows. Now, um, like all legendary pals, they all come with the legendary uh, passive skill that gives 20% attack, 20% defense, and a movement speed increase of 15%. Now, first talent being an ice type also comes with ice emperor which also gives 20% increase to ice attack damage um, now my also rolled with burly body which um, gave it 20% extra defense which is pretty good now as you also read here for stallion can also be written as a flying man which is pretty cool let me show you this is for stallion here that's that's my first time right there now it acts as a grandma but it can also fly and as a fly mount you notice that it also freezes the air which is pretty cool touch to the um to the pilot itself now like i said earlier there's also a variant of first talion like um some other pals which is first talion knocked which is um a dark type version of Frostalion. Now, it also um, now to get Frostalion knot, you cannot catch it. You have to breed it. You breed it with a different uh, with another pal to get it. Um, mine rolled um, legendary passes down from Frostalion. Um, legendary um, burly body also passed down, and ice emperor also passed down. But mine unfortunately also rolled with mine foreman. I was hoping for a different type of passive skill, um, like one for attack or damage um, or defense or something like that. Now, these are all the extra abilities it also knows. Rolled with spirit flame, nightmare ball, and stuff like that. Now, here's what it looks like. Now, you notice that um, Frostania Knot is a lot smaller, and that's because it's not a boss pal and um, since it's bred it's not regular size and just like for stallion when you craft a saddle it can also fly I believe these are pretty cool too okay and so let's go tackle for stallion himself or herself I don't know what text it is but let's see Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Do 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 do. Hmm. Let me fast travel. Okay, that's weird. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> oh man, it's been a long day. Okay, there we go. Now that we're here. Remember, um, in this region here, it's extremely cold. As you can see, the temperature right there. You need to be uh, have frost armor equipped, 
or a frost based accessory um, the necklaces I don't have that equipped um, my first time was just enough and so the accessories that uh, pro, uh, that gives you resistance against frost uh, there is even a um, t-shirt garment that goes an accessory slot too that you can also get and so I'll be using um, Jet Dragon primarily because of its speed to get there quickly it's just over this ridge over here yep in this small little ice arena over here. Now let's see if it spawned. Cause I yep, yeah he is. I fought him a few times. And like um frost pals on the, um or ice based pals, fire damages the best to use against them. Since ice is Let's see here. Since ice is good against frost, so let's start the fight and let's see how it goes. Use my rocket launcher. The cool thing about um, the rocket launcher is that it makes the dinos fall. It's a dinos, sorry, art player here. <laughs> and I'm frozen there. Oh, he's almost down. Let's get him out of there. Actually, no, I'll be confusing. Let me use. There we go. Yeah, Oracle Entry kind of makes things a little bit easier. Okay, you know what? Let me switch to. Actually, let me reload it just in case I need it. Oof, I hit that ability. Where's my crossbow? Switching back to my, there we go. Oh, there we go. And the boss battle uh, music in this game is pretty cool too. Gets your blood pumping. So we're more than halfway through. Thanks to my trusted rocket <laughs> launcher. Now, if I was using any other uh, weapon, this fight would have taken forever. This fight takes a lot longer. Let me get out of the way. There we go. This fight takes a lot longer if you don't have a rocket launcher though. Oh, he froze me too. Silly rabbit. Or in this case, silly horse.
There we go. Just a few more. Ooh, I hurt. Switch over. So essentially, what I'm doing here is I'm watching the um, amount of HP it has, I'm trying to bring it down as much as I can without killing him, to increase my chances of. Um, there we go, just eight, and now I can try to just to increase my chances of uh, capturing it. There we go, 53. Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm going to try that again. If this doesn't work, I'm going to switch to my legendary spear. Oh, actually, I am using legendary spears already. Come on. Come on, let's do this. Let's go. There we go. So now I got Legend, Ice Emperor, and Botanical Barrier. Oh, that's a new one. <laughs> but that's it, though. That's for Stallion for you. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to ride back on um, Knocked over here. Let's go. Not as quick as um, Jet Dragon is, though, but still quick enough. And that's it. That's the entire fight there. Uh, like I said, it's a lot easier if you have a rocket launcher um, or a high damage um, weapon. Not the base sh shoddy or assault rifle or pistol would do. The fight would be pretty long. I'm talking about getting schematics um, to craft a higher quality version of those weapons. My um, previous video that I released today, if you guys want to see it, um, walks you through on how to farm schematics for better loot that can use to craft a better better equipment like armor weapons and stuff like that uh, for instance my crossbow here is from a schematic and my handgun here is from a schematic you notice that the damage the base damage from the handgun or even a crossbow is a lot higher than what you get from the tech tree itself so I'm just running all the way back to the fast travel point and then I'll run over to the ba uh, to my base. Oh, here's a chest. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Always got to pick those up. But that's it really. Um, don't want to make the video any longer than I have to. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, please comment let me know. i like to hear from you guys too. So just leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the video itself. If there's anything else you guys would like me to, any other video you guys would like me to make, let me know. Okay? And that's it. Ruby out. Peace, guys.